Welcome to East African Voice Radio. It's Mr. John Paul right here on Saturday Night Train on East African Voice Radio. As you know, we always do it. Like I said before, we got tonight in the studio one and finest, you know, Japan Nollywood crew right here for the interview. And uh, to start with right now, I would like to ask my question. And the first one goes to the director for Nollywood Japan. That is one and only Hannes. Hello, Hannes. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, thank you very much. Um, my name is Ernest Mamoke uh, from Nigeria, Nollywood, Japan. So, um, thank you for hosting us today, and uh, we will appreciate to have a very good conversation today. Nollywood, Japan. Anis, you're most welcome on East African Voice Ready as we ask our question right now. Um, Anis, my first question goes to you, and the question is, what is the meaning of our Ojemba Japan? <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, Ojemba Japan is a name that, you know, we created in Norwood. So the directors in Norwood gave me that name because uh, when I did the movie, called uh, uh, Paul and Silas. So I was named Ojemba in that movie. And I want to ask the director. Actually, the real meaning of Ojemba is a traveler. And um, Ojemba, Japan, I've been to so many countries in the world, but I choose Japan as the where, you know, I make Hollywood, uh, Nollywood to exist. So that's why uh, we get the name Ojemba, Japan. That's absolutely brilliant. So now people know what Ojempa means, you know. And um, can I ask you another question? That is, um, Anis. Yep. When was Nori Japan established? Ojempa Japan or Nori Japan? Nori Japan. Yeah, we started making. You know, Japan is very uh, difficult in sense of breaking into the uh movie industry here i'm an actor here i have been acting so many movies and uh, tv tv shows in japan and so and also some hollywood movies i also did some french movie uh with a very famous director called gaspar no uh, gaspar Noir. the title of the film is uh, enter the void so um when it comes to when it comes to japan after dealing with so many things i decided that there is opportunity to make nollywood here and people don't know about nollywood in japan they know bollywood and hollywood and we have opportunity to do that because i've been to japan entertainment industry for over Let's say 10 years. So I decided to make it. Um, to start shooting some movie from Japan and Nigeria. And also, um, that is how we come up with Nollywood Japan. Some of our movies that are in uh, YouTube and also in Euroco TV. Yes. Uh, I'm going to prefer calling NSO or Jemba Japan, which of the two is your preference? I or uh, anyone that comes in fast is fine. If come your Jemba Japan, okay. <laughs> okay, I will be calling you Jemba Japan. <laughs> right. Uh, also, Anis as well, the same yeah. time, who is a director. Exactly. Uh, Anis, Anis um, my question goes to you, because you just mentioned that um, there's Nollywood Japan and it's also Nollywood Nigeria. What is the difference between Nollywood Japan and Nollywood Nigeria? Are they the same or similar uh, movie crew or is it totally different? Yeah, you know, it's the same because we have Nollywood uh, in the US, we have Nollywood London, even uh, Nollywood Broadcasting Channel is all over the world. In Nollywood is one, I'm a member of AGN. So, um, in Nollywood, Japan, 
is a kind of a body part of Nollywood, uh, Nigeria. So we do things, all the movie we do here, we end it up in Nollywood, Nigeria. And we market it yes. there. That's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. My next question goes to Sachi, uh, who is um, a translator, is a movie translator for Nollywood, Japan. Uh, Sachi, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for uh, giving us a great opportunity. You're most welcome to East African Voice Radio. My first question to you is, are you as a movie translator for Nollywood, Japan, and you've been doing really a lot, I believe, like translating movies into scripts and a lot of things like that. What are your major roles in Japan, in Hollywood, like, Hollywood Japan? You know, um, English to Japanese, to make Japanese understand, you know, Nigerian movie. Do you translate mm -hmm. in script that is written or yes. in audio? Yes. So you, um, yeah. Yes. Try my try my best to understand the background and you know culture thing and also mix with Japanese you know easy to Japanese understand then you know make them you know more easier to understand you know with both you know mix with both of culture and you know, when you translate something you know from English to Japanese it's not all about you know translate everything that um, straight uh, expression I have to make you know mix with Japanese culture so that you know Japanese can easily understand what they are talking about right that's absolutely freedom yeah. I'm a so you know, you I, know, love Japan, I love Japan movies and you know yeah. everything about Japan feelings yeah so so that is it's sympathize you know they can feel like how Nigerian feel or you see like um, situation that you know we have this kind of thing such as something like that you know what I mean yeah I understand that yeah. that's absolutely true it's a great role that you're doing right now yeah. and before uh, I get to the next question let's go for a short commercial break and we get back don't go away okay Welcome back from that short commercial break and right here still you're listening to East African Voice Radio. Like I said before, we got Nollywood Japan movie crew right here with me. And welcome back, Anis and Sachi to East African Voice Radio. Hello, Anis. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Anis, um, I've got my next question to you. That is, uh, you know, uh, we got Hollywood, Hollywood is in the United States, I believe. Yeah. And we've got Nollywood, Nigeria, and now there's Nollywood, Japan. Right? Yeah. So, um, Anis, what are some of the challenges that Nollywood, Japan is facing in the movie industry at the moment? Uh, in Japan here, number one challenge we have here is uh, the, the language. So, when you want to cast actors who want to act, um, maybe your friends or some superstars in the Japan television, you want to use them for your own Nollywood movie. They, they, they will like the story and they want to act, but you know, every problem starts with the language. So. When so there's a language barrier, right? That's a big language barrier. That's why now we have Seshi as a translator <laughs> and subtitle. Yeah. Okay, now another thing is uh, to subtitle the movie is because even we we do Nollywood movie, like I said, we don't change the concept of Nollywood so that it means Nollywood wherever you play it. Um, so we subtitle it with the subtitling the japanese people can watch it in the cinema and everywhere they can understand what the movie is saying even whether we use our local or any direct to do it then uh number two 
that I can say is Japan is very expensive. So it involves financial status, cash, you know, anything. Yeah, I know what anything you doing. Yeah, anything you do in Japan is money. To, even logistically to move your equipment here is is very, very expensive. So but all these things we are challenging them to make the you know future generation enjoy Nollywood, you know, and see not only Nigeria but Nollywood African all over the world, whatever we can present. And we are going beyond Japan because uh, you know, we have interest in Southeast Asia and other places. Yeah, and it's yeah, that's brilliant. I understand, you know, it's really sometimes difficult, you know, to do a script or a movie or something different in a different culture at the same time, you know. Well, my next question to you, um, the director and actors as well, honest, yep. or Jemba Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, I like you Japan. you're right. Yeah, Japan, who do you think is your major, the people that are listening to your watching, actually, not actually, because when I talk of listening, I'm thinking about Sachi, translating the movie and all that in Japan, appearing on the screen, screen, like that, that kind of writing, like in translation. But actually, my major question right now to you is um, what continent in the world? Do you think are your largest potential buyer of the movie that you produce from Noli to Japan? Like if you produce a movie from Japan, where do you think it's gonna sell most in the continent? Because like we got about five continents in the world, Africa, Europe, Asia, um, Australia, you know, and America. So yeah. where do you think it's gonna be your largest buyer of the movie? that you make from Nollywood Japan? Okay, let me uh, start by saying because they said experience is the best teacher. So, <laughs> I have done few movies. <laughs> I like that, yeah, go on. Yeah, I've done few movies here and um, I marketed them in Nigeria and uh, from there, it also spread <laughs> to other countries like Europe, South America, uh, Southeast Asia, all over the world, because Nollywood movie is Nollywood movie. And uh, why we are talking about Japan market is now is this: they like they like Indian movie, they watch it, and Japan cinema is very big. So once we could be able to subtitle and translate the 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 movie, the stories they will be able to watch it and we will also drive Japan market. So now I can say the movie we make here, we want to show the world as well, uh, some part of Japan because the Americans are making movie here with Japan before they decided, you know, to make more of their movie now with other places. So that's how it is. It's, it's, it's basically for international market, worldwide market. Great. That's really absolutely brilliant. That leads me to another question that I want to ask you. Like um, a lot of um, movies industry want to go and invest in Japan. You talk of America, you talk of Nollywood, and probably some other you know industry that <clears throat> probably you don't know yet, but say they want to invest in Japan. Why do you think there's more interest in Japan? than any other part of the world to act a movie like um Hollywood is doing um now Nollywood Japan is there and probably could be some other one as well that we don't know yet. Why do you think there's interest in Japan? Yeah, I think uh, what I think is that the technology is here and also the the cinema part of it, there is no piracy here. So here, the movie, I don't want to mention some countries, but you know, there are countries that they pirate movies so much. Before your movie is in the market, it, it, even the, all of them have already gotten all of them. So, but this case in Japan, 
<coughs> everything, every movie you you're trying to premiere or, or you know produce here, you know is well assured and it is well secured. So, and uh, Japan itself is is very very big market. People are having interest, but it's very far. So, and when they have somebody who knows the system, I think they will. Many people want to come. But if you sit here and you don't know what, you just move around the city of oh, beautiful Tokyo, sister city of New York, and then you go back because you don't know who to hook up. So now, um, Ojemba Japan is here, me, Ernest Momoke. So anybody that has interest will come and we do business and we do movie and we move the world forward in the entertainment industry. Yes, Anya, so, uh, thanks so much for that, sir, for asking that question. It's really absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I know all the listeners everywhere in the world right now listen to Jemba Japan from Nollywood Japan. You heard for yourself what he has got to say about Nollywood Japan itself. And the most important thing that he mentioned, you're getting, that's like piracy everywhere in the world. So much part on commercial purposes because before you list something someone has already come out with it even before you know it so i got the point that's why i think most interest is like in japan and uh ojemba japan <laughs> and it's yeah. <laughs> i can call you two names don't worry about it do you think japanese or japan government has got strict law on piracy than the rest of the world yes I can say so because um, I'm into the industry in acting movie here and entertainment. So even, you know, when I, I've been to other places, I shot movie there. Here, they have very, very strict rules. Even the picture, you can't take picture when you're in the studio. Just to protect the program they want to air. So. They have that very culture and also Japan is a disciplined country where the individual, the citizens themselves, they, they respect the law. So because of that, they don't, they don't violate the law when they said no piracy, no piracy. What you have here is DVD and this DVD. Yeah, so Anis, um, do you reside in Japan or you reside in some part? of the world, different part of the world, but just act in Japan or something like that. Yeah, I live in so Japan. Live I live in Japan. Mm -hmm. That's why I could be able to achieve all those things. If I'm a visitor, like the way I visit other countries, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't dream for such things. Yeah, so uh, what is the most unusual food you've ever eaten in your life while you were there in Japan? The food that you've never ever tasted in your life? But you ate it while in Japan. Yeah, um, Japanese food they are very good, but there is one one particular food they call uh, the you know that food they call it sato. No, no, the food is the food is called nat nato. Nato, stinky. So, so it's, a, it's it's natto. It is very healthy. It's very. It has a lot of protein. But the, to be honest, when the when you see the can or wherever they package it, you, you say this is beans. It's nice. But when you open it, you, you there you know to pass it through your mouth is a problem. So <laughs> so the first time I couldn't you know be able to eat this food. But as time goes on. I started eating it with, in my own system that the Japanese people are laughing at me because I have to mix it with corn soup. <laughs> 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 the time you, start, you started calling. Yeah, I mix right. it with corn <laughs> soup to take and they were saying, what are you doing? I said, that's how I want it. Then at a time, do you believe me now, I can even eat it raw without mixing anything. So <laughs> it's, it's one of the food that sh in Nagare Shalene. I, I love to hear that and I hope even listeners out there are you know, like, Crazy about you know the different cultures, how they interrelate, and how you get acquainted and adapted to a culture that has never been used before, 
and you get on well with it. Now, this goes to Sachi. Yeah, Sachi, um, yeah. my question to you is, you know, you've been doing great in translation of Japanese movie. I know how Japan's like, because obviously it's your credit motherland. Um, you've been doing all that, you know, like translation yeah. of a lot of movies into Japanese. How do you feel? How do you feel about that? And first of all, mm-hmm. actually, what inspires you? You know, to start translating mm-hmm. um, English, mm-hmm. Nollywood Japan yeah. into Japan yeah. language itself, so that mm-hmm. uh, Japanese gets to know what it means. Yeah, it's very simple. It's very simple. I just find out when I'm watching Nollywood movie and just find that it's very interesting the way they act or their culture or it's like honestly they are kind of similar to Japanese you know I can also sympathize what how they feel then you see there are so many Nigerian or Africans are here in Japan and also who got married with Japanese then you see it's not so many people can speak English or understand your husband's culture right so I just thought why not like I can you know help them to understand their you know your husband culture or something like that and also I want to you know make my friends or Japanese to understand how interesting you know Norwood's movies are you know then that's what I'm just that's how I yeah, feel yeah, I yeah, start yeah yeah, yeah such a-